President Tsai Ing-wen has urged citizens to hold on to their rationality in the aftermath of Han Guo-yu's recall election last Saturday. The tragic death of the Speaker of Kaohsiung City Council has become a very sensitive topic for protesters who accused the DPP of wrongdoing during the lead-up to the vote. But the president denies the claim that the DPP carried out a smear campaign against Han. This sit-in protest was waiting to ambush the president ahead of a DPP Central Executive Committee meeting. It was led by Han supporters, including Almond Brother and Taoyuan City Councilor Zhan Jiangchun. <laughs> Protesters held photos of the late Speaker of Kaohsiung City Council, Xu Kunyuan. He fell from a building and died last Saturday after the results of the recall vote came out. I think the protesters truly didn't notice that the DPP expressed its deepest regret as soon as possible, but no person or group should take advantage of a deceased person for their own ends. I urge supporters of any and every party to hold on to their rationality. As long as we do our best to build up Kaohsiung, to make a better and a more advanced Kaohsiung, then there will be no losers. The city and its people will all be winners. The president went on to respond to Han's post-recall comment. The Kaohsiung mayor says he's been subjected to a concerted government-led smear campaign. I think that's very biased. The role of the government is to ensure that citizens are not obstructed in exercising their rights. That's one of the responsibilities of government, a role we have to play. This supposed government campaign to bring him down is non-existent. The president is never far from controversy these days. A day earlier, she was eating oyster omelet at Miaoko Market in Jilong. In Chinese, oyster sounds like the name of Taipei Mayor Ke Wenzhe. Some journalists asked if the DPP's next move was a recall campaign against Ke. That's a wild leap of the imagination. We have all come up through the support of voters. We all have a duty toward the people. We have to do all we can to do our jobs well. That's our proper role. <laughs> Asked to comment on the oyster incident and its symbolism, Ke made a characteristic dry quip. I eat water spinach every day, he said, referring to Kong Xin Tsai, a pun on Tsai's name.